boots on the ground, putting it down, get up, get up, get up. I got something to tell you. I don't think they want you to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It's best-selling researcher Mickey D. I host The Scoop. I want to thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be on your electronic device, a.k.a. the baby knockout goat, my friends. Thank you for joining me, my friends. I'm going to tell you today, ladies and gentlemen, about two uranium baby knockouts that I haven't bought since 2020. It's been a, uh, roughly a couple years or so since I really bought these stocks, and now they're at levels where... Uh, I think the pullback is a good time to reevaluate and accumulate. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm using pennies and patience. You know the scoop is for your education, your entertainment, and your information only. I'm not a stockbroker, not a money manager, not a financial advisor. My friends, I'm a researcher. I put it in black and white so you'll have it for days, weeks, months, and years to come. My friends, my challenge still goes out to anyone in the real estate, in real estate, anyone in the uranium game, huh, I'm in the real estate game too, but anyone in the uranium game right now, how to invest in uranium now, my friends, how to invest in uranium now, you can get this on amazon.com, you get the audiobook, paperback book, or the ebook, I challenge anyone, my top 10 against their top 10, I'm talking anybody, the best uranium companies to invest in now, this was two years ago, and it's good enough for today, right now, my friends. So make sure you get your copy of that. There's not a lot out there on a uranium. Everybody's got, you know, newsletters and that kind of stuff. And I hit my people to the news. If you want to become part of the newsletter, you can go ahead and uh, follow that link there. That information is there for you. There's Marijuana, David Amon, Uranium Power Companies getting early holding, grow rich, my friends. But before we start talking, and you guys already know also, baby knockouts and, uh, you know, junior silver mining stocks ready to explode. I really haven't showed you guys the books in a while. But if you go to Amazon.com, Mickey D, you'll get these. You can get these books. $19, $20. It'll be the best $20 or so. You'll get baby knockouts that you'll make right away. I mean, look at Patriot Battery Metals, you know, in the last, uh, it's, this guy's up 800% or so. Was it worth $10? I hope it was worth $10 to a lot of you. Uh, anyway, guys, moving on here. Um, just a quick note before I give you these two stocks, the uranium stocks that I haven't bought in a, in over a couple of years, but I just dipped my feet in there again. Okay. These two pennies and patience. Once again, this stock that I want to tell you about right now is a uh, uh, bright, uh, bright rock gold. You guys remember that one? Bright rock gold. That was the one that, uh, I went oh, when I was over in Arizona when my mom was, was sick. She's thank, thank you for your well wishes. She's doing well guys. Uh, that uh, report I got from the Historical Society, that report was a great report on a Midnight Owl Mine there. In the 50s, this Midnight Owl Mine was a, a lithium king, and that was the name of it. It was called the Lithium King, you know. But at, in the 1950s, they didn't have the use the applications that, that they have right now for lithium right now. And as we go into this EV revolution and stuff, these big mines, former producers, I mean, this thing is 15 cents, guys. So I don't want to hear any of Mickey D didn't tell us about it. It was 15 cents. Uh, I'm telling you about it right now. Bright Rock Gold. They'll probably be changing their name to the Lithium King or so. They'll be changing it to Queen or whatever they want to do. But Midnight Owl Mine is the name of it in Arizona. Arizona is trying to lock this thing up. Arizona's got a lot of, of uh, different uh, manufacturing plants and car companies. And everything. Everybody's invading Arizona. So it's going to be really, really uh, good there in Arizona. I'll be giving my private students another company here shortly uh, in Arizona. They may or may not be aware of, but this uh, Bright Gold right now did get, uh, they, they have completed that transaction and now they have, they own the Midnight Owl Mine. So that's complete, guys. And, uh, our research when we were in Arizona took us to uh, Bright Rock, and this is a possible a possible big winner, guys, in the lithium area. Let me tell you about these two uranium stocks that I haven't touched since since 2020, right? One is one of our leaders, number four on the African uranium super trade. What am I talking about? I'm talking about uh, a company that we really think is going to be a big, big winner there. It has a big resource good management. I'm talking about Global Atomic. Now, in 2020, I could remember adding to Global Atomic. Oh, gunshot. Uh, they're everywhere. Uh, 2020, I could remember adding to Global Atomic, guys, at roughly 
56 cents, at least when I looked at my uh, transaction history today, that's what it told me. Uh, it was at 56 cents. But I did purchase it earlier in the year at 36 cents. So it went up to 56 cents and then I, I got a little more. But you know, most of these, once they get to a dollar and they start rolling, in Global Atomic now, it was over $4. Now it's in the twos, USD. So I think it's, it's something that I did add to. I felt confident enough that this stock is going to do very, very well. I see double digits with Global Atomic in 2023, guys. I see it all the way. If not sooner, you never know. The other stock on the African Uranium Super Trade that I added to, guys, was Deep Yellow. Now, in December of 2020, uh, I bought Deep Yellow for 38 cents. But roughly 11 months prior, I bought it for 17 cents. So now Deep Yellow was up around a dollar USD or so. Deep Yellow now is around 50 cents, 50, 52, 53 cents, what have you, USD. Deep Yellow is going to, John Borshoff, don't, don't discount this guy. The management team there can make things happen in our opinion here. Uh, it was, after all, you know, he did some magic with Paladin in that bull market that I also traded, guys. A lot of people out there, they don't know the history of some of these companies and, and some, what's been going on with some of the people and where the people are located now and the perennial drillers, you know, that, that's who stock right now because of the internet. See, their stock's going to go to, you know, 10 cents and it's going to stop there. And you guys go, oh, it's a big breakout. No, no, no. Because of the management team, it's not going anywhere. So you, that's the experience that we bring uh, to our uh, subscribers, you know, and our, uh, if you want to be, get these baby knockouts early and get the uh, uh, newsletter and get this stuff early, guys, uh, before the public or before we even do videos on. See, I still haven't released the African Uranium Super Trade stocks, and I've just talked about a couple of them, guys. But there are some stocks there that, that my subscribers know that it's just a matter of time, you know, right now. Africa right now can do a lot of things a lot faster than a lot of other countries can. And right now, while there's a, a problem with energy, watch out, watch out. There's an energy problem, guys. I don't want to hear, you know, people are going to be freezing. Uh, this is going to happen. Russia's going to cut off this. They're going to do that. They better put the uranium revolution into overdrive, you know, some of these countries. Some of these countries better do things that took years. They better do things in days now, you know, or in months. If it took uh, eight years to get something, well, you know, they better up that ante to four years or something. They better make some things happen or, or we're going to be reading about some really, really bad stuff here. When Putin cuts off gas and this and that and the other thing, guys, it's going to, it's going to get messy. It's going to get rough. And uh, uranium right now... Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that that people are going to turn. Well, yeah, you can say it's fortunate because the lights will stay on, right? That's what Rick Rubin saying. You, you know, either the price is going to go up or the lights going to go. Something's going to happen. And once again, he's a friend of the scoop, also. We love you, Rick. But uh, you know, we'll see, guys. We'll see how that goes. But story I want to tell you guys. Yes, Deep Yellow is low enough to where I added to it, and I think. Uh, it should be considered. It's part of the reevaluation and accumulation when these stocks go below 20, 30, 40, 50 percent. That, along with uh, atomic, uh, uh, global atomic, also is a stock that I think is to be reckoned with, guys. That's all I have for you today. You guys take care of yourself. Uh, this is a viable pullback, in my opinion, guys. Uh, invest in gold today without being cheated some baby knockouts in there all these books mickey d on the uh, uh amazon.com you can get them in your local bookstore you can do whatever you want to do guys i just want you to have these stocks i just want you to have the stocks in there you don't have to read the book just go to the back and say hey mickey d said these stocks are going to 10x man and and put them on your watch list and when they go up you you take a look at them you know when they go down things happen my friends. Love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the trading week. I don't talk to you till the weekend. You guys have a great, great weekend. 
yes, I lost a bet. Yes, I'm going to be going to Disneyland. Yeah, with my uh, granddaughter. It's going to be a great, great time. Uh, you know, you got to register and all that stuff. I got to do all that. It's, it's different now. It's a whole new world, guys. You got to be accepted to go to Disneyland. What, what am I, auditioning for a play or something? You got to check in and sign in and online and all that good stuff where you used to be able to buy your tickets and go to the gate and other thing. They're going to use artificial intelligence and make sure you don't have a criminal background. Or, or just kidding. Just kidding. But they do have a lot of stuff going on uh, there. Uh, I can recall the last time I was at Disneyland, it was years and years ago, but the uh, iPhone, well, it wasn't the last time, but one time when I was there, because I've been there several times, guys, with kids and, and grandkids. Uh, when I went, uh, it was one, one year I'll never forget, because they, they started the AI stuff, a lot of AI stuff with the photos. As you were coming off the rides, you remember they had pictures of you and all, all that technology and stuff? I said to myself, I said, wow, this is going to be something else. Who's behind this? And they said, well, that's a Steve Jobs thing. He's doing something with uh, Apple, and they're, they're going to be doing that. They're testing some stuff for their phones and stuff. I said, oh, well, is that so? And uh, they mastered what we know now as the Apple phone. <laughs> that was years and years ago. Uh, one of the, the things they did was, like, uh, people didn't know but they were, you know, using that technology to try and uh, get things to, to master some things. People test, people test all over. They go watching stuff come down the street and test all over. But anyway, love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family. Guys, uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful time. It's a beautiful day. Uh, I'll leave some links for you. You'll have links to videos. You also have links to the books. Take care. Love you. God bless you.